Hi, my name is Tom McMorris, and today I'm standing in the Revolutionary War Cemetery in Salem, New York. There's more Revolutionary War soldiers buried here than any place else in Washington County, New York. You can see there's a lot of really, really old gravestones here, which uh, date from back in the Revolutionary War period. And also there's some mounds scattered across here where they have uh, mausoleums, old time mausoleums that were used to uh, entomb the, the dead. Here you can see the laid up stone fence that was built in 1870 to prevent gravestone theft and illegal burials. This is one of the side covered burial mounds and they were made of dry laid up slate with an east facing Roman arch sealed with stones and an iron gate. Local stone cutter Zerabel Collins is credited with 36 of the cemetery's stones. Deeply cut face with a prominent jaw, small wings arising from it, positioned above an intricate twisted scroll-like floral motif. Characterized his carving style. The cemetery is located on Archibald Street, just off Route 22 in the village of Salem, New York. The cemetery itself is about two, a little over two and a half acres and has over a thousand graves in it. At least a hundred of those are Revolutionary War dead or veteran. After the Battle of Saratoga, it was reported that over a hundred bodies were buried from that conflict. There were supposed to be another hundred soldiers buried in the cemetery after the Battle of Saratoga. If that could be verified, this would be the largest burial site of the Revolutionary War soldiers in the country. The cemetery was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2003. Salem Revolutionary War Cemetery Produced by Tom McMorris For more information, go to mcmorrisphoto.com